when you're buying goods from abroad or importing goods into the UK, you need to pay taxes or duties to the UK customs so they can raise the goods to you. To understand how much tax you have to pay, you need to know what your customs commodity code is. So that's exactly what I'm going to teach you in this tutorial today. If you want to know more about importing goods into the UK, I have created a beginner's guide for you to go through. You can check it out after this video. So let's begin. So first let's go to the trade tariff website which is uh, www.gov.uk forward slash trade hyphen tariff and that will take you to this page. So you'll see that there is a start now button. We'll click on to that and that will take you to the page where you can, you've got this column where you can enter the name of the goods or you've got the sections or the chapters where, you know, you can see that there are these products in different classifications. So you've got vegetable products, you've got mineral products, plastics, leather, you know, so you've got these different types of products There are around 21 sections. You can either go through the uh, headings and see what matches your product or you can first try and go to this uh, search column as well. Let's say we are importing leather bag. So leather bag. So that will take you to the next uh, page where the website thinks it nearly matches your product. So it just taken to this heading 420205. And uh, in this, this, so this subsection, you can see that you've got briefcases, school satchels, and then instrument cases, handbags. Yeah, so you've got handbags here, which is what we are trying to see how, what the uh, classification code is. Let's click on to that. So that will take you to the next page where it has given all the subsections and you can see a bit at the bottom that you've got more classifications which is trunks, vanity cases, executive cases, handbags, whether or not with shoulder strap including those without handle. Because as a handbag I'm going to click on to that. Now they are asking is it with an outer surface of leather or is it with an outer surface of sheeting of plastic or textile materials. Let's say ours is leather. Then they are asking is it handmade or other. Let's say ours is made in a, a proper factory. So it's a other. So that will take you to the page where it shows your commodity code. Here you can see it says the commodity code for importing is 420. 2210090 and the goods are subject to a VAT standard rate of 20%. So which means you've got a VAT of 20%. Importing from outside the EU is subject to a third country duty of 3%. So you've got a duty of 3% and a VAT of 20%. Import measures and restrictions for specific countries can be found under the import tab. So this is what I mentioned in my earlier video where I, uh, you know, give you the guide of the whole importing, where I said that you get a preferential rate from specific countries where there is a trade agreement between UK or the EU and that country. So that is what you have to find out if you get a preferential rate. So let's go to the import tab. By the way, they've got an export tab as well. And if you are exporting from UK to any other places you can find out it there so if you go to the import tab you will see trade between UK and all countries and measures for all countries you will see that these are all the headings with all the duty rates and everything shown and let's assume we are importing it from India so it comes up specifically for the rates which you are importing from India India into the UK. So see measures for India. So these are the columns that you need to know what are your duty rates. This is erga omnes. Erga omnes means that is a basic rate without any duty reductions which everybody pays in general. So you've got a VAT standard rate of 20% third country duty of 3% and here you will see there are other things as well like import control, import control on dog and cat fur. So these are the things which I mentioned in my previous video where you have to see are there any control measures or are there any restrictions in your product. So when you see on these conditions you can see you have to present a certificate or license or document because cat and dog fur might be restricted other than cat and dog fur as mentioned by the regulation import or export allowed after control so i'm assuming it's after you submit your license or the certificate then you should be allowed so that is one restriction which you might have sealed products 
attesting document you need by the recognized body in India or the country where you are importing. So this is what you will have to understand what are the things or the extra paperwork that you need specific to your products. Then you have an animal health certificate. Again, importing of animal pathogen license under the importation of animal pathogen order. So these things you can either check with your freight forwarder or you can also email classification.enquiries at hmrc.gov.uk. I leave that email in the description below as well. Then you can see here is something called GSP. GSP is the General Scheme of Preferences, which is a trade agreement again between India and UK. And that's why you've got India in that uh, list as well. You can see India here. And you've got a, a tariff preference from if you're importing from that country or if you're importing even from Indonesia, Kenya, Nigeria, any of those countries you're importing, you've got a GSP specific uh, special preference there. So it's a 0% which means your duty rate has reduced from 3% to 0%. So there is no duty you pay. It's only the VAT standard rate that you pay. But if you have to get this GSP uh, tariff preference, you have to submit a GSP certificate from the country you're importing from your supplier or the manufacturer where your um, uh, manufacturer is based only then they'll give you this uh, special tariff preference let's go to another product as well let's go back and check another product through the um, let's go to all sections and uh, let's find out something else through the headings let's say i'm importing uh, frozen shredded coconut you know so i'll go to these vegetable products and I'll see what matches my product. It's not a live tree, edible vegetables and certain roots and tubers. It can be that edible fruits and nuts. Yeah, it's a nut, coconut, peels of fruit. Click on to that. Then you've got coconuts, Brazil nut, cashew nut, fresh or dried. Uh, mine is not fresh, mine is frozen. So I want to see if there is a specific heading for frozen. Bananas, dates, citrus, grapes, apples. Um, then you go down. Fruits and nuts uncooked or cooked by st steaming or boiling in water frozen. Yeah, so this is what my section will be. Then you see strawberry, raspberry. So it will be other containing added sugar. No, it doesn't contain added sugar. So it will be other. Then you've got fruits of the species, cherries. Yeah, tropical fruits and nuts. Yeah, so that's it. So the commodity code will be 08119080500 and this is what you have to give it to your customs. There is no VAT. Importing from outside the EU is 9%. Let's see what the GSP rate is if you go to the import. Because I had already put India for the previous one, so it's already coming. Otherwise, it will come as all countries. So you've got VAT of 0%, usual duty of 9%. Import control of organic products. So if you are claiming your coconut to be an organic product, then you have to see what the condition is. So you have to provide a certificate of inspection for organic product. Tariff preference. If I submit a GSP certificate, then I get a reduced rate of 3.1%. So you can see how much you are saving, you know. So it can be, see it's almost 6% that you are saving when you are submitting a GSP certificate. So it is in all these places that you come and see and understand what are the extra uh, certificates if you require a license if it's a prohibited item what are the regulations in your products so that's all about commodity code hope you uh, found it useful and uh, i'll see you in the next video thank you very much bye bye